while Moritos was the best decision I ever made, you know, I came out and had a great combine. The 14th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Chris Lindstrom. Facility and the whole training and field work, weight room work is really second to none. Trade here for the combine and I don't think there's no better place than this. So I'm gonna keep coming back, I'm gonna keep sending all my friends and guys down here. I feel like I had all I needed like in, in one spot. Some of the best players in, in, in every position, they come here and work out. If you got a clientele list like that, you know, you got to be doing something. I'm a lot leaner, a lot faster. Uh, the staff is uh, phenomenal. The medical, everybody here is family-based, family-oriented. Chiropractic and stuff, that's like one of the big reasons I come down here because uh, it's always good to keep taking care of your body and they do a great job of it. the dogs do it. I feel like this has helped me get to the top of my game and where I want to be as far as speed-wise. Definitely in the both speed and strength department, I feel faster and stronger than that. With the 22nd pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Rashawn Evans, linebacker, Alabama. You know, I've heard Pete's the best, and you know, I want to be a part of it. Basically, I love it. You know, working on the small church muscles that you need to make having to be explosive. The arm drills, the, the uh, turnover drills, the overspeed, all of these things we need during training have okay. increased my speed threshold even more. He puts us in a group together where there's older and younger guys, so we can kind of teach them and bring them along. Yeah, the weight room here is, you know, pretty really good. You know, the stretch style is pretty good. The workout plan is really good. I chose Bomberito because, you know, after being at different facilities, I felt like this might be a better fit for me, and uh, it's been working out for me. He knows exactly what he's doing, how to get you faster.
got faster, got stronger. Basically, it's a one-stop shop. College football is, is such a it takes a, such a toll on your on your body physically. You know, you're gonna come here and you're gonna get a lot of a lot of uh, medical done. The nutrition is off the charts. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I'm just feeling great right now. The speed work in general, we didn't do much of that in college, so getting down here and uh, getting back into that like I did in high school and track days really helped me uh, get my speed back where I wanted to be. Well, I'm out here getting with those guys, and you know, that's pretty much the competition level that is going to be at the combine, so. It was the best opportunity. The medical staff probably helped me the most. I know coming here at uh, Amsterdam Pool, um, I feel like they helped me tremendously to have a great MAT acupuncture. I chose Bomberio because I heard about the great speed work and the great um, physical therapy work. And um, I just heard it was a great overall place to train for the NFL Combine. Always better than what I started with. That's why I keep it. Yeah. One thing I would say is quality of the quantity kind of um, take on working out. I really feel like they helped me get better. My technique and preparing me for my 40, uh, my bench press, and my shuttles, you know, they did a great job. Well, everybody here just knows how to train speed. You know, Pete is really known for that. Just been improving me and getting me better and keeping my speed up and, and keeping me in shape in the offseason. Tell me from for me, P is a great, he's the best. I feel very confident uh, with the speed and the, 
uh, strength training that I've been doing. I know that I got stronger, faster, and my mechanics have got better. I mean, there's so many drills that I've done here at Pete's. Uh, it's unreal. I definitely learn how to um, use more muscles while I'm running, kind of know or have a feel for when I'm not using certain muscles to uh, run and uh, which ones I should be using. The program is really good. Everything's real specific. All the movements and exercises are real specific. I definitely feel more confident um, from the first day I got here. I feel really comfortable here. I feel like he's done a great job of getting my body in the best physical shape it could be. The way Pete works us and works on our technique and in the weight room, I got definitely got 10 times fast. It definitely comes to keep on real, man. <laughs> he gets the job done, man. And you're looking for shot in, you know, four weeks. Not only do we fix uh, his injury, he ran a sub 4-2, one of the fastest times I've ever recorded. We developed relationships with the medical staff of numerous teams across all major professional sports. We coordinate post-op rehab, continuation of rehab, and overall regeneration from the season. Sources that it's a good place to train and it also help your forty starts and stuff. So that's how I really want to focus on my forty. We consistently coordinate our efforts with many teams, players, in the off season, and it's truly a testament to our wide range of abilities and skills that we've developed over the years of working with some of the best athletes in the world. The medical staff is amazing. Uh, when I first got down here last year for the draft prep, I had a knee injury that I had to rehab, but. And I was kind of down about it. I feel like my knee would never be better, but uh, with the help of them, my knee is uh, better than ever. And they helped me uh, stay on top of it and help strengthen my knee pretty well. So the medical staff is amazing. extensive rehabilitation on his back. Obviously, by the time we got him ready for his pro day, he ended up running a 4-6, which shocked everybody. Greg Roscoff's muscle activation techniques is probably the most specific form of treatment to ensure the contractile capabilities of the muscle is at an optimal level. Nobody expected him to rehabilitate as quickly as he did. Not only did he run at the combine, he ended up running a 4-3-4, which was the fastest time recorded running.